It's graduation day for the latest Afghan uniform policeman's course, but this is a graduation with a difference. Not only is the 3,000th policeman passing out from the course, but we're also seeing the first officers graduate. The commanding officer of the police mentoring and advisory group explains the significance of the officers' course. It's massively significant whilst, whilst we're helping the Afghans build and develop their police force and helmet that we have policemen of all ranks uh, and experience uh, trained and deployed in the ground. So now seeing the first officers uh, move through the training centre is a real sign of progress. General Angar talks about the ceremony. Thank you very much from ISAF and from our ISAF officials. They help us. And to this ceremony, it was a very good ceremony. And the elders who came from Kajiki district, from different districts of Helmand province, they are they, now they proud on their son, on their police officers, and NP recruits. They, they will be able to help with the Afghan people, with civilians in the future. And I am very, very happy from you, also from the uh, recruits that they did very well and I, I appreciate that. The eight-week course consists of essential training in police skills. Um, the training that takes place at RTC mainly consists of what we can sort, uh, consider green skills, blue skills and purple skills. The green skills are the skills that enable the Afghan national to police to be able to defend and look after themselves when they're out and about in Afghanistan doing their job. The blue skills are the policing skills that we teach them and that deals with anything that a normal policeman in the UK would have to deal with. Also handcuffing, self-defence and also basic crime scene management. And the, uh, the final stage is the purple stage which is where the Afghans learn about their own culture, about Afghanistan and their own history. Asad Allah reflects on his time on the course before he leaves the training centre to start his new life as a patrolman. I feel good because when we came newly here, we didn't know anything. So right now we understand everything. If we are going outside, we can train our guys too. As the newly qualified policemen leave the centre, Lieutenant Colonel Ray looks to the future of police training in Helmand province. Uh, it's massively important in our plan to, to ensure that we hand over to the Afghans as soon as possible. Uh, and again, it's all part of our, our plan for success in Helmand. Um, what we see is really handing over all our training eventually to the Afghans. That's starting now, and over the next two years, we'll see all training handed over to the Afghans, and ISAF and our force will take a, a step further and further back.